Hi guys, welcome, it's Heidi. I'm back today for another review for you. Um, this time I'm going to be showing you my complete collection of Go Forth Goods bags. I did a review for you about six months ago on a medium deluxe. Um, since then I have sold that bag, which is not uncommon for me. I probably will regret it because I love that bag, but I have um, acquired four more Go, Go Forth Goods bags. So I'm gonna try to be quick with this because I know that you know when four bags get involved, it can be lengthy and I don't wanna bore you. So um, let me start with uh, my absolute favorite. This is the Medium Avery. Um, this is the non-deluxe version in saddle and it does have matching saddle straps. You do have an option to change that to mocha, black, or natural. My previous one was mocha, which was a nice contrast, so I wasn't sure I would like the matching ones, but I absolutely love them and would choose that, go that direction again. Um, I just absolutely fell in love with this one. I found it on a buy, sell, trade page on the Go Forth Goods Groupies um, Facebook fan page. If you're not a member and you are a Go Forth Goods fan, absolutely join, it's great. Great group of ladies, lots of great conversation and pictures of bags. Um, and even the owner is a member, which is awesome. Um, this bag is um, in great condition when I bought it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And I love the striations. I love the character of that side of the bag. This one's a little bit more consistent um, with the pebbling and things like that. We're talking about a full grain leather. So everything on this is completely natural to the hide. This is a six ounce leather. It's very thick. And actually, I will go ahead and say this now. Of all my bags that I have ever owned and own now, this is the, I think, the hardiest, thickest leather of any of the bags I've ever owned. So if you're looking for a workhorse tote, this is the company to buy from, <laughs> absolutely, hands down. This is a very substantial leather. Um, this bag weighs two pounds, one ounces, and I will go through it quickly. Um, you can add snaps. I believe they're $15 extra, and I love the snaps feature. I will be adding that in the future on any Avery's that I purchase. It's completely unlined, and you do get not only one, but two slip pockets, and you do also have a key keeper there right at the top so that it's not lost in the bottom of your bag. That really lovely soft suede lining. You do have the option of 10 inch drop or 11 inch. This one's an 11 inch. Wouldn't have chosen that for myself um, just because I feel like I don't need the extra length, but I love it and I actually probably would choose that again. So it's it's neat to buy, buy you know, used bags and the VST boards just because you get things that you wouldn't have chosen for yourself, but you end up loving. Okay, next. This is the one that I just received. This is the medium slim, non-deluxe, so it does not have a zipper. It's just the open top. All of the slims come with the hemmed edge. Just gives it a more refined look. And believe it or not, both of these bags are, say, saddle. I almost said the wrong name. But they're both saddle. And you can see they're very different in color. Um, batches vary from, you know, one hide to the next. Um, obviously same tannery, but they pick up the dyes just a little bit differently. This one has some really great character. I was so happy when I saw that. So pretty, I love those stretch marks. And I ordered this one with natural handles. So these handles are completely natural. They have not been tanned. They will patina with time, with sun exposure, oxygen exposure. Um, just time will cause these to turn a really beautiful golden honey. Think of like a Louis Vuitton Maqueta, you know, leather, the handles. So I did go ahead and treat these. I've only carried this once so far. I treated this with a leather conditioner and it did darken them just minimally. And if you compare that to the inside, the key clip, you can kind of see the difference. It's very subtle, but you can see that it's already started to turn a little bit more golden on the part that I put the protection on. And the only reason I did that was to protect these from the rain. Now this part is water resistant. Um, you know, the owner says that when water gets on this, it will just beat up and roll off. 
no issues, no worries with carrying this in the rain whatsoever. Basically the same as the other regular Avery, except for it's just a little bit longer and deeper. Has the suede lining, super thick, hardy leather. Um, two slip pockets and the key keeper. Next, this is another one that I bought um, off of Buy Sell Trade. This is my only black bag in my entire collection, but I love it and I probably will never part with this one. Um, because it is my only black bag and I do reach for this one for church, you know, when I'm wearing like an all black dress. This just goes really well with those types of situations and it does have the saddle handles and they do offer this obviously with natural or black. The black on black is very pretty too, very, you know, classy look. Um, and look at those gorgeous pebbles. And the leather is so soft, but yet it still holds its shape. It's just amazing. And this side is a little bit smoother, a little bit smaller grain of pebbly. You know, and then the inside is unlined. It does have that contrast stitching to match the handles, which is kind of a, a saddle color there. The two slip pockets, very nice, thick, soft pockets. Smells amazing, smells really amazing. Okay, and then the last one is my very first mini. Um, this one is in the color navy, which is the absolute only color of bag that I have in my entire collection, like 98% like brown, medium browns. So I thought I saw this one and it reminded me of denim, like a jean jacket. Like I can probably, hopefully match this to almost everything in my wardrobe. Like I'm not gonna worry about this one matching exactly because I feel like it is a neutral. And I was afraid that the mini would be too small, but I am very happy to say that it fits everything that I need. Um, this one is nine inches by nine inches by three and a half inches deep, all one piece construction. So you have no pressure there from a seam on the bottom with the weight of your bag. This one has the saddle handles really nice um, brass D-rings, substantial hardware, it has the great hand pressed copper rivets. And you have this really cute little closure on this one. And I wanted to say that you can also, if you like this closure, you can add this to your regular Avery's as well. I think it's super cute and very handy. And then the inside is just all that gorgeous blue suede, little slip pocket, uh, key keeper here on the front. Um, I will say that this navy was a limited color, so you won't be able to get navy right now. Um, but they do have some really great other colors. They have a gorgeous pink that reminds me of watermelon. And I thought about purchasing it. And they have a golden sun. And they also have some bison leathers. They have a cobalt blue bison and um, a cherry bison. And they have a grape, which is this really beautiful shade of purple, if you like purple. So anyway, um, the, one of the main features of this bag that really made me want it is this shoulder pad. I think that's absolutely amazing. I love that idea. I love the way that it feels on my shoulder. It's very, very comfortable. Um, so much so that I wanna order one of these in saddle as well, just because I love saddle leather. And I and now I'm a big fan of the Mini Avery. So this is the non-deluxe version, but they do have one with a zipper in all of these styles. I'm trying to be quick because I don't want to get too lengthy, but I will try each of these on for you just so that you can see how they fit a five foot five frame. This one is the one with 11 inch drop. And I have so enjoyed carrying this bag. I've carried this bag like consistently since I got it. Like even when I switch out just temporarily, like for a day or one, you know, outing or whatever, I come home and immediately want to put my stuff back in this bag. This bag is a really comfortable carry. And the straps, I will say that about Go Forth Goods, their straps do not slide off your shoulder constantly. Like if I, I carry this, and I said that in my last video too, the, the straps for these bags stay on better than, better than most, I will say that. Okay, and for the black, which is 
quickly try this one on for you. Medium, slim, fun bag to carry. Really, really fun bag. And then the mini. And let's see, where do I have this adjusted? I think I have this on the shortest setting actually. So if you're five foot five like me, you'll probably wanna put it on the shortest setting as well. And it still hangs, like this is my hip. I don't think it hangs awkwardly low, but if you're shorter than me, this might be a slight issue, but you can always add extra holes. So very cute, convenient carry. And this closure is just the cutest, very simple to do too. Highly recommend the, mate, the mini. I, I'm really enjoying that one. And then my newest, my newest bag, the one with the natural handles. It's so pretty, I love it. I can't wait to see how it patinas. I don't know, like people have already asked me which one is my favorite between these two styles, between the slim and the regular, or the medium regular. They're both so great, but I'm gonna have to say, if I had to choose only one, I would choose the regular. Um, only, only because I think it's easier in an east-west presentation to see your things, like at a glance. You look in your bag just for packing reasons. I think it's just easier just to find everything in this bag versus that one. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but if I had to choose only one, this would be the one. Great bag, cannot say one really anything negative about them. Um, as far as um, the shipping time and things like that, you're looking at seven to 10 business days for them to custom make the bag for you. And, and then shipping's just, a, well, a couple days for me. It's, in Atlanta, it's coming from Atlanta, Georgia. So, um, and you can change things. Like I said, you could change the strap drop. You don't have to add the snaps. You can add a loop closure, front pockets, extra, and then you can add brass feet for $20. So he's very flexible with those things. Um, and he does give you all of those options below each bag if you want to change something. Um, to make it more personal. Also, you can add your initials. That's not something that I do on a regular basis just because I know myself so well and I know that I get, I don't want to say bored, but I, I tend to want to, you know, try something else right away. And then I don't think people really want to buy something that has someone else's initials, but, but they do. I mean, I do see them, you know, being sold. So I think it's just a little bit easier if I don't do that. But Having said that, I don't think that this one will be going anywhere. <laughs> and I, 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 I sold my medium deluxe and that one had the zipper top. I will, I will probably regret that. I've, I've made that mistake before, but I just feel like, you know, I have to kind of, you know, keep it from getting out of control in my closet. But anyway, this is Go Forth Goods. Um, I appreciate you watching as always. And leave me a comment. I, I absolutely love reading them and I appreciate them because this is just something that I don't feel like I'm nowhere near the best. I mean, I've seen a lot, lot better reviews, but I'm just, I'm just trying to be helpful because I enjoy watching your videos. So like, and subscribe and leave me a comment below and I will get back with you. And I appreciate you watching and have a great day. Thanks.